Let's go! Today is going to be a great day because I've discovered a way to use iMessage on any Android device. That's right, those blue bubbles can finally be yours and you won't be looked down upon by those iSheep, I mean iPhone users. I'm just kidding, I actually own an iPhone myself and being in America, iMessage is one of the most popular messaging services out there. It's like being in an exclusive club that no Android users are invited to, but fear not, I'll help you sneak in. Also, if you'd like to watch my videos in Spanish, be sure to check out my second channel called How To Men In Español. The link is in the description. So the app that gets the job done is called Blue Bubbles. It's not that popular since it just got released, but it works great and hasn't given me any problems. Not only does it bring iMessage to Android phones, but it also has a dedicated desktop app for Windows and Linux. Unfortunately, the only requirement is that you'll need to have access to an Apple computer running Mac OS, High Sierra, or later to get this to work. After all, iMessage is owned by Apple and they don't like to share their toys. But you can purchase any old Mac Mini, which shouldn't be that too expensive to get iMessage to work. So within Bluebubbles, the app will look like the iOS messaging app. And when you message any iPhone user, they'll receive your messages with Bluebubbles instead of green, making it seem like you have an iPhone. However, the only disadvantage is that the app doesn't support SMS as of yet. However, this should be coming up in the next couple of months, so you'll still need to use another messaging app to text your Android buddies. But with Google Messages, I'd still love to use RCS anyway over SMS. Also, you'll be using your email for messaging others instead of a number, unless you use these little tricks found within an Air Message subreddit. I'll link it down below. Anyways, when messaging any iOS user through Blue Bubbles, you can send and receive text messages, pictures, GIFs, videos, and your location. You can receive stickers, big emojis, reactions to your messages, and even have read slash delivered receipts. You can create new chats, join iMessage exclusive groups, new conversations, and customize the overall theme. All of your data is encrypted by TLS, which is the same encryption used by all of your favorite sites, such as YouTube, Instagram, etc. And in the future, they'll even support typing indicators so you'll know exactly when someone is responding to your messages. And you'll also be able to react to other people's texts. That's pretty insane since no other solution out there has these features implemented. As of now, the developers have gotten these features to work, but it's only available for users who have the nightly build. Like I said before, Bluebubbles also supports Windows and Linux, so you'll have all of the same features found within the Android app, and your messages will be synced so you can seamlessly switch between devices. There are other alternatives out there like AirMessage, but I still prefer Bluebubbles because they don't require port forwarding. Uh, they're entirely open source. Sending attachments is much more reliable. They are community driven, and so you can join their Discord channel and request new features or report bugs. Everything is hosted locally on your macOS device. The app doesn't always run in the background, so your battery won't be affected. And the app is completely free to download. However, I do recommend donating to the developers because they obviously put a lot of effort and time into this app. Not gonna lie, the process to get this app to work is a hassle, but it's a one-time process, and I'll try to make it as easy as possible to get it running. So first, you'll need to grab your macOS device, go to their website, bluebubbles.app. The link can be found in the description. Click on the Downloads tab, select macOS, and then it'll take you to their GitHub page so you can download the latest macOS server. Once the DMG file is downloaded, and you can open it, and drag the Bluebubbles app into the application folder. Run the Bluebubbles app, and from there open the System's Preferences app. Select Security and Privacy, then give Bluebubbles full disk access as well as accessibility access. Enter any password for your server, and keep NGROK enabled unless you plan on forwarding your local IP address or dynamic DNS yourself in the future. Next, you're going to jump to the website called Firebase. Firebase is a Google product used to send push notifications to mobile devices, it's used in tens of thousands of apps and you may not even know it, so it's entirely safe to use to sign in using your Google account. In the top right corner, click on go to console. Click on create a project and then title it Blue Bubbles app. Click on continue. There's no need to enable the Google Analytics toggle, so you can disable that. And then click create project. Then once you click continue, you're going to appear on this page and you're going to click on build and then real time database create database, next, enable. From there, click on the gear icon in the top left corner, select project settings, click on the service accounts tab, generate a new private key and click on the generate key to download the file. Following that, we'll drag this file into the FCM server drop zone within the Blue Bubbles app. 
Go back into your Firebase console and make sure you're on the settings page. Under the general tab, click on the Android icon, which is found towards the bottom of the page. A new page will slide in, and from there, you'll be entering the following text into the Android package name, text field, com, dot, your name, for me it would be Facundo, and then dot, blue bubbles, all lowercase and no spacing. Then click on the blue register app button, and then the download Google services.jsn button. Once the file is downloaded, drag it into your FCM client drop zone, found within the blue bubbles app. And now with the Android app, scan the server's QR code to start syncing your messages. For Windows, you just need to screenshot the QR code to copy the clipboard by pressing on Windows key, Shift, and S. If you prefer, you can also just type the URL displayed on the macOS server directly into the clients. That's it, you should be connected now. If you have any questions or need assistance, be sure to join the Blue Bubbles Discord channel. I'll link it down below. Either way, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to share this video with any of your Android buddies. And please drop a thumbs up if you found my tutorial to be useful. It seriously helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to get subscribed while you're at it with the notification bell turned on. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!